Hello and welcome everyone to Character Ed, this big idea. I'm Andrew and this is my co-host, Sam. Uh, well, well it was, uh, I'm sorry, okay. He, he was backstage, I'm sure he's working on something important while we're waiting. Uh, just, okay, alright, I need to tell you a big, big idea. That's right, that, that's why we're here. Now this month's big idea is really great one to talk about this time of year. So I have to say, all of us here, uh, we've all been very focused on how we can work out this big idea inside of us to put it to work in the world around us. And honestly, I don't think that I've ever seen this team more focused on a big idea ever. I mean, like, they've been doing so, so good. Oh, Sam. Hey, can you watch where you're going, dude? It's, what is that? The, this? What? Yeah. Hey, it's just my phone. Oh, okay. But. I need you, you're in my space. I need you to watch where you're going so that I can be here. What, what do you mean? Sam, I was just, look, I was just bragging on the team for our focus on the big idea this month. And you come out here on your phone. Yeah. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. 15th century, but uh, <laughs> this is how we're putting the big idea into motion in the modern day. So Okay, so you're telling me that you're practicing this month's big idea on your phone? You what? Hmm? Sam! Hey! Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. So don't start. You can present your case for the cell phone-induced coma after we go over this month's definition. Can I get a drum roll? Sam, please help me. Everybody, ready? Drum roll. No, Sam. No, drum roll. Drum roll. Generosity. Everyone repeat the big idea after me. Generosity. Generosity. Making someone's day. Making someone's day. By giving something away. Giving something away. That's right. The animal this month is the super cool Angora goat, whose coat has been sheared to provide warmth for people for centuries. Sam! Give me that, dude. Stop with the phones. Okay, look. Then, of course, the color of this month is emerald, which is a shade of green. You know, green is a really cool color. It's like all about life. And then you, like, a lot of plants are green. And plants make oxygen, which help us breathe. And then you got trees that are green. And they also provide shade. It's just, man, green is just a good color. Sam, a third floor. Jeez, what is going on here, dude? Uh, mm, listen, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to practice this month's big idea. Okay, generosity with a super cool new app, the Giver Grabber app. Let me, the, let me show you. No, no. Show you. This right here. So look, no, no, give, give me the phone back. So you're telling me you have an app to help you give more? Are you kidding? I'm like the most generous person around, do we? I mean, I'm great at giving stuff away. Remember your leaf blower I borrowed in September? Yes. It, you said you wanted to use it to make a hovercraft, Sam. I don't even have it anymore. I gave it away. Okay. Well, if you don't need help, or at least don't think you need help, for giving, what's the app for? Uh, hello? The Giver Grabber app shows when I've given too much. And let me, and let me tell you this month. This month has put me over the edge. You weren't already over the edge? I, listen. Okay, I gave my cousin Ed bacon gum to combat his bad breath. Boom! Bacon gum? That's generosity. Thing. Okay, what's up? Stop, 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 no, no, no. What, what was that sound? That, mm, what? <laughs> it's the noise giver grabber app. It makes when you give something away. That's really great, Sam. But second item, what? I gave Uncle Ralph a mullet wig since his hair is starting to thin out. <laughs> Boom! Gen to the recipe. That that's another good one. But do we really need that annoying noise? I gave Grandma a powdered brick so she wouldn't have to make fruit cakes. Boom! <laughs> Okay, look, that, the noise, it needs to stop. How, how do I do this? I gave Andrew three cell phones! Woo! Okay, stop, stop it! Woo, 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 woo. Ah. Okay, Sam, Sam, please. I, I think we all understand how generous you've been. But not as much as me. I've officially given out... Hold on, let me see. Let me see. The app says... 
I've reached my giving quota. I've taught, I'm halfway through next year. Next, okay, that's not, that's not really how generosity works. I mean, you don't give something just to get something. This is bad, Andrew. I am dangerously out of balance. Okay, well, no one is arguing that. Which is all. why I downloaded the Getting Grabber app. If I get enough, it evens out my giving imbalance. Hold on. Oh, uh, I'm s okay, I'm sorry everyone. This is kind of embarrassing since I thought we were really prepared for this video today, especially after I talked about our team. Oh my, what? Okay, so, what, Sam? My giving Are there more is phones in there? So, no, 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 listen, listen, my getting is so low in comparison to my giving. I'm getting lightheaded and dizzy. Uh, are you okay? Only a serious amount of getting can cure this, which is why I stopped by all of their schools this morning, and, uh, let's no, see. No, 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 Sam. I took someone's, uh, scissors here. They say the best gift is, uh, one from the heart, but, you know, Visa and MasterCard also kind of work, so I helped myself to some Sam, of their stuff. Sam, like I said, you scissors. did not go to the school and take, Sam, got... you did not go to the school and take stuff from people. I, well, I'm doing them a favor by raising their giving quota. They gave it to me, so it's like... <sighs> Look, Sam, I've that... got all their tests. I've got someone's book, tape, highlighters, pens, pencils. Just shoot up. Okay, of okay, that's that's way more than enough, guys. I I'm really sorry about all this. We'll we'll make sure that you get your items back. I'm, I'm so sorry, Sam. Let let's no no no. Let's leave all this. Let's leave all this. Okay? But I'm still unbalanced. Okay. Okay, it could take years for you to get balanced. Okay. So, mm -hmm. let's... How about... You know what? How about we start by getting you out of here? All right? So, come on. Let's go talk about generosity. And we, we'll see... We will see everybody next month. Because we have to figure this out. Okay, yeah. Let's okay, do that. Let's, all right. It's Sam again, kids. <laughs> I'm excited to be back. I'll bet you're wondering what's in this gift. Yeah, this gift right here. I know I am. It's wrapped up pretty well. Looks like it must be something nice in there. You know, sometimes I get wrapped up too. Not like this present though, but in a little bit of a different way. Sometimes I get wrapped up in me. I don't <laughs> I think about what gifts I might want to get, what things I want, or how many days until I might get them. This month, I'm not gonna get wrapped up in me. I'm going to think about generosity and how I can give to others. Now I know what you're thinking, guys. Sam, I'm just a kid. I don't have a bunch of money to be buying gifts for a whole bunch of people. Well, here's the thing about generosity. It doesn't have to cost money at all. I mean, maybe you could show generosity by playing Legos with your brother, even if you'd rather play video games alone. Or, you could show generosity by giving away clothes that you might have outgrown. Or how about this? You could be generous with your time and help your grandmother around the house. Whatever way you choose, remember not to get wrapped up in yourself this month. Choose to be generous. Generosity is making someone's day by giving something away. Mm, that rhymes, <laughs> let's all do it. Generosity is making someone's day by giving something away. You know, I think I'm gonna make somebody's day by giving this away too. See you next month. Hey guys, we are here again talking about generosity. Generosity is making someone's day by giving something away. Where is it? Like, where are, where are, Tucker, Tucker, what are you, like, what, whoa, 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 careful, 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 careful. What, what is going on? What is this? I don't, I don't know where the thing is. Where, like, I have too much stuff. Where, where did I put it? What do you mean? What? what? What, what do you what do you mean? Where did you put it? What are you looking for? Oh, oh hey, hey Trey, how's it going? What, what is all this stuff about? And what are what are you doing? 
Is this sweet? I'm looking for my breakfast, not this steak, but I can't find it. I know it was in here, and again, there's just too much stuff. Let's, uh, it's just, it's not here. There's just okay. too much stuff. Okay, stop searching for your breakfast in that box of stuff. Okay. And you're gonna stand right here, and you're actually gonna help me a second. Okay, okay. what's the big deal? Okay. We're in the middle of a show here, if you, if you couldn't see that. And I want you to at least say hello to all the kids that are watching. We're very thankful to be with them. So why don't you say hello to all the guys watching? <sighs> What's up, dudes? What's up, gals? How's it going? But have any of you seen my bowl of oatmeal and yogurt, par yogurt parfait around here anywhere? Uh, okay, well, we'll worry about your breakfast later. Today, we're talking about a, a new big idea, generosity. Generosity? Yes, generosity. Generosity. That's right. Giving stuff to Tucker because he's awesome. No, no, that's not correct. We went over it before we came today, so what is the correct definition? Uh, okay, well, okay, so it's giving something away. Yes. To make someone's day. That's pretty close. Good job. You know, I really actually do love this big, big, this month's big idea. You do? Yeah, because I love getting stuff. So be generous, kids. In fact, there should be a PO box number on the screen somewhere that you can actually send parfaits and cash and all that good stuff to me. But um, okay, okay, come on. What? The, we're not putting a PO box on the screen for people to mail you stuff. It's for endangered animals tray. In Endangered animals? Yeah, in danger of hunger, I'm starving. Send me your oatmeal! Okay, listen. Let's talk about how generosity could affect others. What would happen if you were generous? If I was generous? I mean, you've got a lot of stuff in there to so you could give some of it away. Like, did I see you throw out a feather boa earlier? Like, come on, like... You don't need that, and I'm pretty sure you have a rubber chicken, too. Sure I do! I use it all the time, and all this great stuff is mine! <laughs> Come on, work. Dude, I've got this cool hat! Why... And why would you possibly need that ridiculous sweater? Uh, hello, this is my pate sweater. I use this all the time for my pates. Well, it looks a little small. Uh, okay, so I grew, grew a little bit, okay? Okay, listen, why don't you give some of this away? Give it away? But what if I need it? What if I need this Elmo vest? Like, what if I want it later? I mean, like, what What if? But that's the point. What if you made someone's day? Listen, I, I want to tell you a story. A story? Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. Now, get your head up and look at me. And don't be bored. Come on. Hmm. Okay, now. Here's the deal. When I was a kid... And dinosaurs ruled the entire Earth. Um, okay, Tucker. What? When I was a kid, we had some really great neighbors. Now, it was during the winter one year, and it was really cold, and really about this time of year, and if I remember right, our neighbor had gotten laid off, so they were in for kind of a rough winter, and my family thought it'd be nice if we helped them out. Oh, wow. That's super nice. Yeah, so we put a bunch of stuff in a box, and we were going to take it over to their house. Uh, what? Yeah, we wanted to give them some stuff. Oh, uh, to get rid of some of to get rid some get rid of some of your junk. That's genius. That's smart. Like, don't, don't throw it away. Okay, okay, no, no, it wasn't junk. It was some of our toys and some food from our kitchen. And when, even when we went out and bought some things for them, some presents, some food, and some practical stuff, we thought we could surprise them with. Oh, I see why you did that. What do you mean? So, your big crush would be like, Ooh, you're so cute and generous. We love you. Okay, no, definitely not. Why would you quit? Would you quit being ridiculous? Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, here's the thing. We didn't tell anybody. I just happened to be the one that got to take it over. So my siblings and parents waited in the house and watched out the window, and I walked across our snowy lawn. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What are, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I was making sound effects. That's what it sounds like when you walk across the snow. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay. 
That's enough. <sighs> Sorry. So, anyways, I get over to the porch, and it's a wooden porch, and it's kind of creaky. I had to be real careful because I didn't want them to hear me. We really wanted that to surprise them. Creak, creak, creak. Crash! Termites, the porch is caving in, ruining your life. Tucker! What? This is my story, remember? <sighs> okay, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so I pushed the box right up to the door and then rang the doorbell. Ding dong. Yeah, like that. I rang the doorbell and... Ding dong. Seriously, okay. Anyways, so I rang the... Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong! You don't have to say ding dong every time I say doorbell. Ding dong. Ding dong. <sighs> okay. Okay. Ding dong. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to say it one more time. Ding dong. Ding, ding. ding dong, ding dong, ding Tucker, dong, ding Tucker, dong. Tucker, Tucker. Yes. Okay. Are you done? Uh, yes. Ding dong. Continue. So where was I? Ding dong. You were on the porch. I'm sorry. Yes. So crept along the porch quietly and I pushed the box, rang the doorbell. Ding, ding dong. Are you done? Yes. So after that. After what? After I rang the doorbell. Ding dong. After that, I turned and ran all the way back to my yard and we gave that gift to that family without them ever knowing it was us who did it. I don't believe it. It's true. I ran to our house so fast that they never saw who left. Unbelievable. Uh, all just to practice generosity. I can't believe you actually ran. Come on, I'm not that old. Okay, I'm just kidding. That was really nice of you, you know? I bet you really made their day. Well, you know, that's why we did it. Sometimes during this time of the year, everyone is always thinking about how much they can get or about getting the newest, coolest gadget for a gift. And I remember that year though, because as a family, we wanted to make sure we remember that sometimes the best gift is giving. You know what, that is really cool. So. I tell you what, we're going to give people a way to help us be generous. But what are some ways that kids can be generous every day? Well, maybe what if they see a kid that needs a pencil in class and they could give them one of theirs? That's, that's a great idea. Or maybe during the month of December, the whole school could get together and do a food drive or something. Oh, that's, that is a great idea too. Or maybe, may, no, no, never mind. What? Well, maybe a group of kids could hang out with someone different than normal, and can't we be generous with our time? That, that's actually a really good point. Being generous isn't just with money or things. You can be generous with your time. You can be generous with your words by saying nice things to people and complimenting others around you. Wow, that, that's a lot of ways to be generous. I better go get started. Help me, my producer. You're my only hope. Okay, okay. Cut the drama. I'll get you your new shoelaces. Oh, cool. Thanks. Hi, kids. I'm Lawson, and today I was going to show you the new Star Wars movie, but my mom says I can't do that. And so do the lawyers. So, I'm just going to tell you about this kid I know named Lee. See, Lee just finished watching the Space Captain's movie trilogy straight through for the very first time. And now he's like, Space Captain, defend your galaxy! And then he got his little sister Chloe to watch them as well. And now they're both fans. Space Captains, defend your galaxy! And then they watched all the movies 27 times in a row without sleeping! Space Captain, defend... Your galaxy! Uh. But they both know that you can't be a super fan without having the officially licensed stuff. And now is the perfect time to ask for it because it's Christmas! And then they remember that for two years Lee and Chloe have wanted to go to Adventureland. They asked their parents. They wept and made promises. We'll do the dishes every day. For the rest of our lives! And then their parents said yes, but this was their one big gift for the whole year. 
So that meant no light swords and no space captain helmets. But then Lee had an idea. See, Lee has been saving up all the money from his chores and now he's got just enough to buy himself a space captain light sword. But then he realizes he also has exactly enough to buy Chloe a space captain helmet instead. For about nine seconds, Lee wishes he didn't have such good ideas. In fact, he even tries to talk himself out of it. But then, on Christmas morning, it turns out that making Chloe's day was actually a pretty awesome Christmas gift for them both. So kids, remember that generosity is making someone's day by giving something away. And also remember, when it comes to dance moves, Space Captains, defend your galaxy! I know that made no sense, I just wanted to say it. Watch this. Oh, oh, shoelaces! Whoa. Space Captains, bring me my shoelace! Thank you! See you guys next time. Guys, I am so excited for our reach out today. Once again, we want to hear from you. Even though we aren't with you and we have to wear these masks, we, we always love to know how you feel about this month's big idea. We want to give you a minute to talk about this. So think about someone you, you may know or maybe your whole class knows that you can be generous to. Come up with a plan and show generosity to others around you. So take some time. Pause the video right now and talk about it with your class. I love this time of year. Mrs. Warren loves it too. We had our tea time the other morning and she told me stories of how she always decorated with her sisters. And their house was so beautiful with the Christmas lights. Those stories got me thinking. I asked Miss Elizabeth if my friends and I could come in and secretly decorate Mrs. Warren's house while she was out one day. We watched Mrs. Warren drive away and took all the stuff inside. We played music. It was like a party. Mrs. Warren almost cried when she saw what we did. In a good way. Well, Trey, I'll be honest, it's actually good to practice just genuine, genuine generosity. It's true, and it's not about just what you can get, but it's about what you can give away. Yeah, and not to just give away junk, but to give away yourself. And we just want to say thank you to all the teachers and staff at your school who give so much to not only you and your families, but also to us who are generous to us by letting us come via video and hang out with you guys. Yes, it's true. And so... For one last thing, Tucker, do we want to say the big idea just one more time for him? Let's do it. All right. Generosity. Generosity. Making someone's day. Making someone's day. By giving something away. By giving something away. That's right. We hope you guys have a great rest of your week. See you guys.
out in the 